Land. There are concerns a fresh food price war could put farmers out of business. Coles has fired the latest salvo in the supermarket price war, slashing some fruit and vegetables by up to 50%. Whether they're sliced, diced or chopped, vegetable prices are down. Well, in some cases we're talking about up to 50%, so real deep discounts on a, on a range of popular fruit and vegetables. Ideal weather conditions have led to bumper crops for many growers. Coles cashing in by purchasing huge volumes at a discounted price. They tell us the product's practically jumping out of the ground. But the peak body representing 9,000 growers isn't jumping for joy. What it does is raise serious concerns about the future viability of our industry. While coal suppliers stand to benefit from an increase in bulk sales, it appears many smaller growers will be left out in the cold. What happens when the glut's over, when there's a spike in the prices, does the agreed price with farmers stay as it is? How are we able to keep doing this sustainably and keep doing it so a grower is able to uh, feed himself and feed the family? Small green grocers also fear they'll be unable to compete. Lovely, lovely cherry! They got car park, they got advertising, they got all the convenience. Uh, we got half a price of them, but still uh, a lot of people, they go there. A price war between the two supermarket giants is now on the cards. Retail experts tipping Woolworths will return fire by either matching the prices or getting creative. I think the logical thing is to actually sit back and develop your own promotional strategy and actually look for something different. While shoppers have another reason to opt for healthy meals. Less takeout. <laughs> Nick Butler, 10 News.